Nigeria has appointed yet again a female finance uh -huh, minister. Yeah. Uh, and I welcome uh, the meeting that I will have with her. But if, if she was to ask me what is our policy recommendation, I would certainly start with uh, a tight monetary policy, um, higher non-oil revenue mobilization. I remind you, you know that from the inside out, that the domestic revenue mobilization is 5% of GDP in Nigeria, and that is just way too low. Uh, relative to where Nigeria should be in order to address the issues of health, education, proper social spending on the people, and particularly the young people of Nigeria. That would certainly be a very strong uh, recommendation that I would uh, give her. And um, structural reforms that would probably include really uh, making sure that the refineries and the oil uh, equipment that is available in Nigeria works well and works for the benefit of Nigeria. That would be my, my recommendation. In terms of global, uh, we, we, this is the work that is constantly underway. Uh, it, it's to be found, if you will, in the Article 4 that we produced under our bilateral surveillance. Uh, it's, very, it, it, it's a tricky question because you have Spillovers that are produced in, in very circumvoluted ways, and it's not just a, a direct spillover, but we are doing this exercise on a country by country.